people. This is Jack here from the Stony Ridge Band, and uh, today I'd like to uh, tell you a little about a little bit about this Martin Luther guitar I got. I made another video on this before, but uh, today I want to tell you about the uh, the Woody pickup I got on here. Uh, yesterday I took this guitar apart, and uh, I had the Dean Markley. Uh, a pro mag uh, pickup that I was using. You slide it in and it goes in the sound hole and then you got this wire that hangs out and it's always coiled around your leg and making you aggravated. And uh, so I uh, I got a, uh, a M pin jack connector here where you plug your cord in. And I took the wire and I snipped it. I got about maybe a foot and a half of two feet of wire inside the guitar. and. Uh, yeah, I slipped the wire, soldered it on the uh, in-pin jack here, and uh, and installed it. It's going to be a per permanent fixture in this guitar, uh, and I'll let you check it out here in a minute, but uh, a couple of tips. If you ever want to do this to your guitar, there's a couple of things to know. One, before you put it together and you solder it, make sure you're soldering it on the right place. Kind of check it before you solder it together. You know, use the butt of a screwdriver, tap it, and plug it into an amp, you know, to troubleshoot that. And uh, you set that to the side. Once you get that all done, you set it to the side. And then you want to drill your hole. Now, when you drill your hole and you're drilling in a nice guitar, you just don't use a great big drill bit uh, the size that you need. I used five different drill bits. I started small because there's only a little screw screw hole here. Start small, like an eighth inch, and work your way up, quarter inch. Work your way up until you you get the, the size you need and check it as you go. And sand it, sand it, and make it make take your sandpaper and kind of make a make a tube out of it and kind of go in there and you know and smooth up the edges and everything. Just don't take a big drill bit and go in there and think you're not going to do some damage because you will. I mean, it will grab the guitar, everything else. You don't want to do that. So be real careful when you drill a hole. And what I ended up doing is this guitar came. It didn't have a it didn't have a knob here for the uh, for the strap, you had to use one of the straps to go around here, and I just don't like the strap all the way at that end here. So I just took this uh, knob and moved it over here, and then put my uh, end pin jack connector there. And uh, that's the second guitar I did. I got an old frame aside there. There's a video about that one too. And uh, I really like this idea. It may cut, say if you're playing this non-electric, it may cut a little sound down by partially blocking the sound hole, but it's no big deal. So I'll let you check it out. Also, uh, I was looking around the house and I want to play this guitar out that I play somewhere. And I'm getting it ready right now for next month. And I uh, found this volume pedal laying around the house. I believe my son-in-law left it here about 10 years ago. Ryan, if you're looking for your volume pedal, it's right here. I repaired it yesterday, took it apart and repaired it. But uh, I want to play little leads on this, uh, and fills and things on this, and you need kind of need to bring your volume up sometimes because you're playing soft and uh, you, know, you need to bring the volume up. So uh, let's check that out. It's working out pretty good. I would I would recommend a volume pedal for any time you're ever playing an acoustic guitar out somewhere, and you need to play some leads on it, you know. Because man, there ain't nothing that sounds better than a lead on an acoustic guitar when you're out somewhere if you can get the right tones and everything.
man. Hopefully it'll work out when I'm playing somewhere and we're playing louder than hell, which we like. And if you see the Stony Ridge Band come to your town, please come and see us and come visit with us. We'd appreciate it. We're not going to live forever, man. I'm a million years old doing this. And thank you very much. Thanks for listening. Thanks for putting up my rambling and my old guitar playing. Hey, we'll see you next time. Bye.